Yeah, no contract, that sounds legit, doesn't it? It does down here, man. He'll, have, he'll take this. Oh. I like the way that there's a lot of space. I reckon they could fit a few more of these things on. I reckon. Well, there's a reason that I wanted to do the video here today. Yeah. Go on. This is, as everyone knows, our area. Yeah. Among others. Yeah, yeah. There's many areas that we've lived in, been associated with, and do videos in. That's right. But this, for me, is the heart and soul. Proper oh, yeah. blues area. We've spent a lot of time here. Obviously, many memories. And in my opinion, don't know if you'll agree with me. God. I think these are the second best set of tower blocks we've got in this country. Second best? Yeah. So where's the actual best then? Neutrals. Okay, in terms of like how they look and all that. Yeah. But what these yeah, ones have I mean, got I mean, even over Neutrals is... Number? Yeah, just a vast collection. Numbers, yeah. So I say all that to say this. This better not be what I think it is. This is something that privately we've spoken about over the years. We feared that this might happen. Right. They're knocking the tower blocks oh, down. For I was actually hoping you were going to say that. What the fuck? So which one? It's like what? No, every one. All 14 of them. So including the so, Manningford? Yeah. All around, look. So every every so person is getting a £6,000 payoff and, and right, relocated. So 14 blocks by, what, 100 flats? No, it can't be. A bit less. One, two, three, four, about 50 flats in each. Right, but my question is why? They're not, are they in a bad, they're not in a bad condition. I mean, they're not in a great condition, I'll give you that, but they're no fucking dreadful town, are they? Call back if you're not here, because we've got some bad news anyway. All right. We've got a TV crew or something. The, the program is a, it's a 90 minute look at the whole history of Mountain. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, where do you want to go? Well, we could. Uh, anywhere that it's not in the wind. Exactly. Anywhere that's not in the wind. I think I sound. Don't forget, at one point these were the new things. Yeah, absolutely. So whatever right. they build in their place in yeah. 30 years time, they could be the. The things in need of knocking. What about around Kings Norton as well? Northfield Way. Same thing exactly. This is Michael Portillo actually is here doing this documentary. So not a bad day. <laughs> We're here with uh, Mr. Michael Portillo and crew. How you doing, lads? This is uh, not Dave obviously filming, but Dave's currently signing a waiver for a documentary being made for Channel Five. Um, so he's using his pen. And Your pen's running out. I've got a pen. Hold on, I can give you another one. Oh, it's oh, back, it's back. Okay. Right. Just a signature, please. On the back. Here is your phone back. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so talk me through what's just happened. Well, it's like mad, isn't it? Um, real mix of emotions, because I've obviously found out one minute that these tower blocks are, are coming down, and well, even now I still don't know what's going to happen to Drewy Teeth, but. We've tried to get Daz down to sort of talk about it and just generally see him and get him on the vid anyway, but he ain't answering. And then, and it sounds ridiculous to say this, but suddenly we've bumped into Michael Portillo Literally, and, a, and a film crew. You're leaving a voicemail for Daz. Yeah. And I've said to you, hang on, there's a camera crew. And then as we're talking to him, I suddenly think, hang on, I know that guy, Michael Portillo, former you know, MP and government member. And they've ended up talking to us about tower blocks and that's just, that's bizarre that is think about this is why i believe in this sort of stuff i mean think about how many other things could have happened today well i'm have to i'm have to go and get one in a second anyway scratch card on me do you want to just get it now yeah go on then. i just wonder as well if i'd have bought my scratch card at a different time someone else has had it you know on the roll of mm. scratch cards but michael portillo may well have just made me very very rich when i first saw them coming up from when we were up there all I saw was a bunch of people with like equipment. I swear I thought people were just nicking stuff. <laughs> Remember the uh, mashed potato incident? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought there'd be a more memorable moment for us at that tower block. Oh, no, and now we've just had it. Who would have known it, man? 
We would have known it. There have been some other good things in the past, haven't there? The, the frog. <laughs> this was really going to be uh, not just a, a sad video, but an angry video. Oh, no. oh. And that's the mood's completely okay. changed. It's stupid because I actually want to be angry, but I just can't at the Well, moment. we can't right now. You know, let me just in a nutshell say what I was going to say before Michael Portillo interrupted us. Yeah. But basically, regeneration, particularly where tower blocks is concerned, it doesn't work. I could give so many examples of areas that are no better. But you did say that to Michael Portillo did, as well. Yeah, yeah, he, well, he knew it anyway, you know. Mm. I'm still thinking about the frog, but there we go. <laughs> oh, God, what a day. What a day, such a contrast of emotions. I, don't, I haven't even spoken about football. I still can't believe they're knocking all 14 down. That's just, that's excessive. What do you think of Druity? I love it. I, I, grew, I was raised and brought up with it. Yeah, Outsiders like, who look at this area and think, oh, it's just nothing yeah, but scum. They're, they're, they're wrong. You, they're you, wrong. Know, you have to be here yeah. and live here and know what it's about to have your, your, own, you your views and opinions on, on Fairness, like, it could be worse. It could, you know, down the road or whatever. Some yeah. proper nasty stuff going on there yeah. around here. Too, There's a lot of good yeah. people around here. Yeah, I love it. Again, I, I, I have memories. a lot of bad words to say, but I love it. I, I mean, look, we, we do videos in a lot of places, and you can see someone like yourself, we've approached you, you've been very friendly. Yeah. And you're just talking to us as if you've known us. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? That's the way it should be. And the best yeah, bit yeah. is as well, Dave, is that after this, she's buying us both lunch as well. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's Jimmy D. Do you reckon you stay around here? Yeah. My kids go to school around here. Well, a little bit boy before. Yeah. So, um, yeah, for the next 10 years I'll be around here. So. Honest prediction, 10 years time, what will this area be like? 100% totally different. Totally different. Yeah. We were yeah. thinking of having a fundraiser, right? For, you see a Kingswood house over there? Yeah. We were thinking of having on this lawn a light beaming up and showing the blues badge on the side of the building. Really? Yeah. To make it known who, who, which area this is. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds great, but I think everybody knows. Everyone knows this is blue, yeah, don't they? Everybody knows, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that sounds really. That sounds it's a good idea, isn't it? Good. Well, I'll tell you what, we've really enjoyed this. Uh, we appreciate I'll be your time. I'll be you can come on our videos anytime. <laughs> Up the Thank blues. You. Thank you. Keep right on. So, we're coming to a close for the video. How are you actually feeling now? Again, all over the place. I'd probably say 60% good though, because Michael Portillo was lovely. The girl back there was very friendly. Amanika. Yeah, Amanika. And, uh, you know, all the best to her and her family. And all the other families like that here as well. So. Good people around here. Yeah. I've never known an area have such a bad reputation that's not called for. Yeah? Yeah. And there's areas that don't have a bad reputation and you go there and there's this huge problem. Yeah. I'm going to ask you now. Okay. Do me a top three if you want. All right. Your favorite tower blocks in the world. Oh, God. Well, you know, you say the world. Yeah. I would say, actually, we are the best country for them, though. I really do believe that. America's very good in parts. I mean, Brooklyn. Well, you know, I mentioned Neutrals earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my yeah, favorite yeah. thing about it. Neutrals is the one place where you can look up at the buildings and you can really feel like you're in Brooklyn or the South Bronx. Yeah, or oh, Bronx as well, how could we forget? Again, used to be some good ones in Newark, New Jersey, but yeah. they, they knocked a lot of them down. Yeah. Again, regeneration haven't worked. There's a place there's a place on the uh, east side of Newcastle that's basically a big tower block area, but I don't know what it's called. If somebody does let Dave know, Liverpool was very good as well. London's still good because they, you know, they they still value their tower blocks. The Chelmsley Wood's still very good for tower oh, that's blocks. That's great, yeah. And they had the right idea. There again, Chelmsley Wood is in Birmingham, it's Solly Hill. They smartened them up, they didn't knock them down. Yeah. Obviously Heath Town in Wolverhampton, it's very good. I'd have loved to have seen in this heyday, frankly, when there were loads there. Mm. Anyway, it's been fun. I mean, I feel better now, in a way. Good stress now, bosses, man, they do my head in. Which one are we getting? This one. You don't, are the blue ones coming? You reckon? Blue. Let's get it. Let's wait for the blue yeah, one. Go on, Realistically, is it going to actually overtake this one? Absolutely. Are we getting this one? Yeah. Keep right on. Okay.